Welcome back. The best of five grand finals between Gorilla and TNC Predator. Get the uh, ward down. They might be needing to deny their own because Mavis is coming over with the sentry, but he doesn't have the reach. He doesn't have the reach. He needs longer hands and they will remove the sentry before this ward goes down. They're protecting it now with full force. Asta, you want a hammer to your face? Do you want an unstable concoction? Fonty will stun him. I might stun myself, but you will die. That's just how much more powerful I am. They dodged the first rotation of TNC and Carlo just not being able to find anything. They're gonna be going for Y-Chan. He does have the Rolling Thunder. The question is, will he get to use it? He gets turned into a uh, nice a little sheep. But immediately as he used the Shield Crash, they knew they were not gonna have enough damage. And the Gorilla, their turn around here in the mid lane. It's gonna be swift. It's gonna be strong. Carlo onto the low ground. He's taking a lot of damage. Can he survive? Here comes the Solar Guardian. They're looking towards the Mars. Okay, you saved your support. Now your core dies. Uh, the Warlock there tried to uh, try to uh, create some space, but in the end, just a few seconds, Asta though will definitely be going down. And now the Mars is looking towards the Dawnbreaker with the spear. He'll be able to kill her, not just yet. A few more hits. There it is. Krish in the end gets the kill. Uh, that's just it's, it's gonna accelerate him even further. Finally, they press Exo, they press uh, Wards in the mid lane. That's something TNC should be doing. Is it a little bit too late? Maybe because in the back line you see, oh, Krish, Night Squad initiation. Yeah, they caught Dockers, and here the buttons are finally gonna be pressed. A lot of ours are gonna be here. Look at Krish's position. He's like, push me on the high ground if you want. It's not gonna matter at all. And Y-Chan, he just rolls around. We saw him rolling, and there was nothing that he did with it. Go, go, might be in some trouble. The Spirit Vessel is there. Eat the ashes of your teammates. Now Bok is going for more. They're gonna hack the Dawnbreaker going forward. Yes, he has found their opening, and this Dawnbreaker is not getting out. She'll get a spear through the heart, get it deeper in there. They remove the stun onto the Mars immediately, but they'll be finishing off. Asta Fonti gets the kill, and they get that uh, that finger of death stack. And Mavis now finishes off the tower. Nice play by him, but it is still gonna cost him his life. So the retaliation from Gorilla does come in the end, and the Alchemist does show himself just to show off the radiance. And the BKB on the Alchemist gives enough confidence for Gorilla to start moving towards the bottom lane. Wai-Chan is already there and he's gonna be going for the Rolling Thunder. They will not allow Bok to move. They have the slows, they have the stuns and they'll have the damage to finish off the Witch. They burn her literally, not on a stake, but just on the lane. And Carlo has been caught. The blink from Dockers has been revealed. Shadow Shaman has a blink of his own, but he'll never get a chance to use it because he will die to the right clicks of Fonti. Meanwhile, it's gonna be the Abaddon chase down. He has borrowed his time already and without it he's gonna be going down giving a double kill to the offlaner of gorilla three kills in quick succession where is the vision now they should have seen the mars going there there should be a red flag they have the golem the warlock summoner is ready to summon it and he summons it into the roach pit a rock versus a rock roach versus a golem and no one is gonna be there to get hit by the stun of the golem now let's see if tnc want to go for this fight they will pop the exorcism bkb on the death prophet is ready why chan has been caught they don't have the rolling thunder they forced out the big ulties from the enemies the finger onto Krish he doesn't care Fonty coming in he's gonna be tickling Bok who is standing his place but here comes a much stronger guy in terms of damage though turned into a sheep and sheep will die white chat beautiful usage of the shield crash he's not gonna be taking that much damage Fonty though without the BKB he can't go forward he's gonna be stunning himself we see you go back into our team but the upheaval there it's slowing everyone can they get on top of the alchemist it is gonna stop this warlock is not gonna be able to summon the death from the ground to slow down the enemies any longer which means the alchemist with a bkb he's dead and after says give me that second life roche there is no one to protect you any longer a beautiful fight for tnc uh, this amount of physical damage it is gonna help um, immensely if your support gets to press another button it's gonna be a huge difference maker they are going forward they're trying to down uh, this profit really fast the they are gonna be successful yeah, they tried to save her, but not gonna be happening. The Trolling Thunder is destroying them. Look at the Fatal Bond. It pretty much annihilated the side of TNC. Can they get the stun on the TA before the BKB TP out? BKB TP out against the physical damage. Not enough. And Fonty will stun himself. They kind of, like, they went all in on, on, on a single target, but they actually dealt a lot of damage to all other targets at the same time. And that's uh, what makes Warlock so great. He basically turns any single target hero into a 
AoE hero, so I think they're overstating the welcome on the Alchemist, are they? Or did they? The Rolling Thunder is again gonna be great this time around. The TA doesn't have a BKB, but it seems like they don't have the damage. The Alchemist couldn't finish off. Heroes Fonte is just running around right now, and caught inside of the uh, arena is White Chan, who is standing his ground and fighting against everyone. He's dueling like a man, but he is surrounded by four heroes, and now the Warlock and the Alchemist are the only ones that are left. Warlock, though, not for long. He might have a Ghost Scepter, but he's gonna be a Ghost fairly soon. You don't have a use. You don't have to use it. I'll make a Ghost out of you immediately. So now smoke from TNC, and we are gonna have never-ending tension while Y Chen is threatening with the Rolling Thunder. A key into the ignition, and there it is. The Rolling Thunder. Still, the Alchemist has been caught. Can they save him with the Solar Guardian? They are saving him for now, and he gets himself out, but he's still taking so much damage. He is dead. Is this your strongest hero? Is this your strongest man? The TA with the DD cuts down everyone. Is there anyone else who wants to fight Asta? I'd say no, given that your fattest guy is dead and Rose just spawns says hello and he's gonna be very sad. He just came home and there's so many people there ready to kill him. It's an ambush for Gorilla and it's an ambush for the Roche as well. I, I've paid my attention several times to it and they're just following the vector of the courier. They know where Warlock is. They Will they be able to? Yeah, they're gonna be able to find where he is and it's just one that Warlock. Not the biggest of deals. Uh, pause to just to... Oh, okay. You're a good guy and you're not trying to tilt your opponents at all. Uh, anyways, though, Carlo is tipping towards the bottom lane. They want to catch the Dawnbreaker. Doesn't have the blink, does have a BKB, but if the Hex connects, yeah, this Dawnbreaker is looking very much dead. Does have the whole Halberd, so maybe the status resistance will. Nah, nothing will keep him alive. He will not move an inch. That is a 10 second stun that goes his way. Uh, they are going and uh, hitting into the Bangor protection, and they might lose first life on TA. No, they're not gonna. And Chris just jumps in. Yep, the arena will be there. Dockers loses his life. The Sprint Cypher will make sure that he dies. Asta is still alive. Now kicked to the low ground. He still has the Aegis. Come on, at least kill her once with the Fatal Bond. They'll probably be able to do so. No, Bok has been purged. And Asta is looking at this one. Maybe I should go and die once. Maybe I should give them that. No, no, Asta, don't do it to Gorilla. They need a nice Rolling Thunder initiation or a nice Blink Dagger from the uh, Lion initiation. He's just try trying with the uh, Watch buckle, the rolling thunder, there it is. They've jumped on Bok. Immediately the stun will be removed. They found the Abaddon. Now they're gonna find the Death Prophet as well. But the slide is dying to the spirits. You came close to the mother and all of her sisters there. They're gonna be protecting her. Go go loses life. Bok gets a double kill. And the uh the golem does drop. Sorry, it's not the mother. It's their older sister. Even more reasons to defend her. She's not even that old. And the melee racks will fall. We don't care about your backdoor protection. I, I, I really like this axe for one simple reason. It allows you to push faster. And it's also pretty interesting in, in the sense that it allows you to keep on dealing damage. And if you have satanic, to heal yourself even when you're disabled. On the core Mars that does damage, I think it's really good. But now uh, don't break her. She just went way too far. She's Dead. Yeah, they have to defend this one, so he's gonna be going down. It's a 3 versus 5 scenario, trying to kill Asta. Asta doesn't have an Aegis, he doesn't have a lot of HP, but he has the defense of the Mars. The Spartans are here, they're gonna be crushing all of you. Let's see them again. They're gonna start putting those spears into the back of Fonti. He wants to run away, he understands how strong these warriors are, but they're not strong enough to kill the Alchemist. The Alchemist will survive. This game is still going on because the Mars will die, going a little bit too deep, thinking he was stronger than he actually was. He got excited, just like I did, and now Death Prophet is gonna be next. They do get the disarm, that doesn't matter much, but the Hex does, and the upheaval, those arms are keeping her in place. Give us your HP, give us your mana, and don't move while we kill you, but the witch is still gonna be quite scary until the big boy comes to burn her to death. You just need to uh, sustain for a long fight. That's what's your main problem. You can burst somebody. Oh, they need the top lane. They're gonna find DP. DP is in a bit of a trouble. Abyssal Blade, everything's thrown at her and she's gonna die. Mavis is not here in time to save, but Krish is here to cut any shade. They're gonna go for Lion. Golem drop, another arena. Dockers, he is in this Venn diagram and he's gonna die. Quite a bit committed for support kill, but who cares? And uh, also disarm potentially and stun. 
And they are skipping this option, and uh, look, just look what's happening to the throne now. Oh, they're going for the throne, but let's see if they can kill Carlo. He's gonna have the end this twice in a row with the Solar Guardian protecting their alchemist, but he's not taking that much damage. Going for Asta, but the DD Asta now turns around. Ponti needs to run, he needs to go around the arena because it's blocking his way. They've already lost two heroes. Do they have buybacks on those two? They don't, and the Mars is just going forward. Fight around the Serpent Wars, defend your base if you can. Just uh, a little bit of a heads up. You cannot do it. Fonte jumps in. He does have a buyback, but turned into a sheep and shackled. He will call GG on Dockers. He sees there is no way that this game goes into their favor because TNC are just that powerful. Look at those snakes just waiting to bite anyone who gets close. This is game number two. TNC Predator won in game number one. We don't have a single kill. Again, it's gonna be a slow start uh, of this game. Asta will take some damage there from the Crypt Swarm, but he just turns around and is like, fight me, it is no issue whatsoever. Hello, Dockers, you might be able to toss me away, but we will still destroy you. It needs to be catching this Tinker in the early mid game. It is most definitely the Invoker, but Marcy comes over. Let's try to kill the Invoker. Let's see what your urn will do. It's gonna stun you, it's gonna stop you, and it is gonna kill you. Dockers gets his own ashes sprayed over him. And I think they are not justified, but they're also not that important for the grand scheme of things. Uh, he will still have an impact because it's Marcy, of course. It's one of those heroes that has a built-in gap closer with a built-in stun. So that means you can always go for a play. Now in the bottom lane, they go for Mars, they will get him. Uh, but Gogo will be traded up. Uh, yep, he will be traded. Fonte thinking about going forward, uh, posturing aggressively, but does not have Omni Slash. He can go for his enemies. He feels like he can get more of those. And like, Dockers also feels like he can kill the Terrible, who doesn't have the Sunder just yet, but is saving the skill point. And you mentioned they're gonna be getting the Shackles off, and he should get saved by his teammates right now. He does have the ulti. Sunder's with Bok. Bok, I will steal your soul, but it doesn't matter. They can push the tower. But no, the siege creep will die, so it's not gonna be that effective of a push, even if it does come to it. But going for the Mars, the Solar Guardian will be there to save him. He's being protected by the arena, he's being protected by his teammates, and the invoker comes over. Mavis, he saves his buddy, and the tornado will kill the death prophet. No, the spirit siphon is out, so that's why he's gonna be surviving. Krish wanted the kill because of it, he might have killed Bok. No, not gonna happen. Meanwhile, on the other part of the map, Carlo might lose his life, but the Terror Blade is there to protect the tower. They strike on two fronts, Gorilla but they only get one kill. At least the bottom tier one will fall. A much cleaner game this one for TNC. Fonty, they'll continue to be very aggressive. They have the uh, curse and they're gonna be using it. Fonty, you're not gonna go anywhere. Your creeps are gonna turn against you. We will stun you, we will hit you, and we will, in the end, kill you. That's gonna be the Juggernaut dead, thinking he can do whatever he wants. Juggernaut definitely not uh, getting what he wanted. Meanwhile, top lane, Marcy unleashes her strength, and here comes the Death Prophet. Can the Marcy get out of this arena? The signs will be there, but the Invoker comes over, immediately turned into a chicken. Bok, 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 needs to save his Invoker, and he will not do so. And now the Tinker is coming over. There's the Blink Dagger. They're gonna jump in with Dockers. He immediately dodges the Spirit. Looks like Bok will survive. Not if Y-Chan has something to say about it. Actually, there is nothing he can say about it because Bok is already out. It doesn't mean that Gorilla aren't gonna win one or two fights, give themselves a slight lead, and then uh, be able to win this one now. Going for Guo Guo. He will try to get the Hex off. That will be uh, possible for him, but it's still not gonna be possible to survive. The Tinker comes over. Can he get any kind of punish going? Dockers jumps in, but it's not gonna be far enough, which means that Mavis survives. Chris just easily gets out, juggling his orbs, and out on the top lane, the Death Prophet, with the help of the Sun Strike, it might only be level one, but it's gonna be enough. Go and play around him. Omni Slash is really powerful. It's still pretty powerful against Terrorblades. They're going for Terrorblades, though, and they will get the kill. Will they? Will they? Will they? Okay, yeah, enough. That, that was uh, the last stun was enough to get this really important kill. And uh, you can still continue going with this uh, Fonte uh, Juggernaut, right? Gonna be maximizing their farm and even killing the Terrorblade. You know, for a second it got close there for the TV to survive, but I don't think he would have done so anyway. And White Chen caught! That is a very big kill. Can they finish him off? More than enough damage on them. Krish might be in some trouble, but a beautiful tornado then connecting onto a few of them. The Shadow Shaman has been disarmed, but he has his shackles. But what an ulti from Carlo. He gets one, he gets two. Fonti, you better run. He has been broken. He can't even create. There's gonna be an arena. You will fight. You will not run 
away, but he'll be speared a little bit farther away from Box Team. And meanwhile, look at the Death Prophet zoning out anyone. She will give her life away for the Juggernaut to run away. You are the last of your kind, and there's like a billion witches in this world. Still, four heroes dead on the side of Gorilla. Thinker has something to say about it. Y Chen comes over. Mass TP is coming over as well. Carlo gets a TP out. He already has a BK a, uh, a blink dagger. Now the X onto the Mars. Go, go. What are you doing? You're running into that. Oh, a bonus. Yes, Dockers. We want to kill you as well. The Solar Guardian is coming over. All of you stay in the light and get healed by the sun. That's going to be a nice stand on everyone on the side of TNC. So not only are they going to be crushing Gorilla, gorilla they're going to be looking beautiful while doing so. They couldn't formulate a cohesive, uh, cohesive plan for the fight uh, in in this particular instance, and I think TNC are so well ahead right now that it, it's getting really scary. Yeah, we don't even want to uh, look at this fight right now because TNC are destroying Gorilla. Actually, Dockers almost survives. Bok taking some damage. He should be dying from all of the spans. And let's see if the supports can survive. Aichen says, Carlo, you will stop. But Krish comes over and the big invoker is here. Mavis is actually surviving. That's not going to be enough damage. Aichen has no mana. He has no HP. He'll get disarmed. But not by the spell, but by them killing him with the damage. Fonti again, the last of his kind. Maybe he's not too comfortable with playing the Marcy and needs a little bit more practice. Dockers, we all know he's a great player, but uh, missing some of those spells. Y-Chan gets caught. There's gonna be a spear, and here comes the Solar Guardian as well as the Sunstrike. The Sun will send his help, and Dockers now gonna start fighting. He unleashed his power, and we are gonna unleash your soul from your body. But here comes out. Go, go is there. He's not gonna be able to save him. Don't Mavis with the double stun. Not gonna be there, but let's see. The save is there. The cold embrace. Embrace the cold as you did the Sun. It's still not gonna be enough. With the Melstrom, they do enough damage. Bok has a triple kill. Can he get anything more? Can he kill the Ultra? Can he get a Rampage? Fonti, you wanted to run away. And now you will die. Who's gonna get that one? It's gonna be Krish to get an unstoppable kill streak. And the Death Prophet will TP out. Oh, yes, they can do everything they want. And they see Death Prophet. Are they gonna initiate? Yes, they're just gonna start with Winter's Curse. Uh, with some meat balls and a blast on top. Yeah, a big in East Force, though. And they managed to catch Bok. Oh, is it actually a fight? Yeah, it's a big fight. The Solar Guardian will be there to save the Mars, though. He finally uses the BKB. He has the face boots, but he's not using them to get out to the Serpent Wars. There it is. Now the Exorcism, the BKB is already used on the DP, and Krish has been caught. The Cold Embrace will be there, but it isn't enough to save him. Asta uses the Sunder. He has the Aegis. He's like, kill me, but it's not gonna be enough. Even if he gives his soul away, his Invoker is still gonna die. Ponte, though, who's gonna save you? Has the Manta, has the Spin, can't fight. Here comes the Unleash. Dockers, beautiful dispose. Asta, can he win this fight? He turns around and says, yes! We can! So he can definitely run for a US president and now turns into a demon who wants to get their soul eaten. Everyone on the side of Gorilla except Y Chen. Top of it, of Manta and the Dragonlands and BKB, how do you stop this monster? This monster just basically used his ultimate to save his teammate. Wasn't successful. In the bottom lane, in the meantime, they will get not. Will maybe? They? Please? Carlo? What? Why no. Chen? Why Chen is dead? And Guo Go is dead as well. This is one of those situations when Guo Go says, come on, we can get a kill. And now Why Chen is gonna be thinking, why did I listen to my aggressive support? I could have been farming now. Without the glyph, this tower will stand no chance. Look at the Terrorblade with 360 damage. Goodbye, tier 3. And hello, Raxis. Not for long, though. Dockers comes over. There's the dispose. The arena immediately jump out from the Marcy. Beautifully done. Asta, though, goes forward, leaves the arena. Even if you leave the battleground, I'll follow you till death. Death Prophet now inside of the ice wall. She will not move. She has hit her head onto a wall. And the spear will end her misery fast. The Tinker has been caught. No blink dagger. No life, he has lost his life in a second. Fonte turns around to spin and spin while we break your head. You won't even know what's happening. They call GG. Can this juggernaut at least survive? He wants to use the Omni Search. He'll be able to do so. But immediate invis from the Invoker. They're outplaying them even when they have called GG. You raise the white flag and they are still sticking it to you. That's how strong TNC are.
and it is currently 2-0 for TNC after two great games coming out from them. Uh, if you look at net wars, um, top three cores are on the side of TNC, and that is despite uh, oh, White Chan almost de dying in the mid lane. But Krish dies, you know, there's a difference between almost dying and dying. The rotation from Go Go is enough. He also manages to snag at least one of the bounty runes, so he's doing already fine in the top lane. Don't break your getting grass, but it's not gonna lead to anything. And in the bottom lane, I hear Virgil's curse. Yep, uh, Bok has been cursed, and when you are cursed, you usually die. Meanwhile, Mavis, you talked about the uh, the Marcy dying a lot in the previous game, not really being useful. Well, Mavis will now die, does have one kill to her name, but will now have one death as well. If he was there just a few seconds ago, he might have been able to save his buddy. Krish, though, gets found out by a lot of these heroes. He has been slowed down, but this hero, even when slowed, he's the fastest on the map. He turns around. Is that gonna be a heal? Yes, it is. Go, go, falling low, but he does have the Shallow Grave, slowing down Krish. The Poison Touch is so strong, and the Celestial Hammer should bring him down. He turns around, but there's the Shallow Grave, and Dawn she doesn't want to go to the other world just yet. It is not your decision to make. Bok in a bit of an aggressive position because he has so much HP. Meanwhile, mid lane, Krish in a little bit of trouble. They dispose of him in the back, but it's not going to be enough to save him. Carlo now goes towards the Dawnbreaker, but Dawnbreaker doesn't care. Your ulti will not kill me. You are going to be the one that dies. Actually, no, Carlo is alive, but the mana burn from the side. Dockers has come over to seal the deal. But there is a rotation coming out. Mavis, uh, he is here all alone. I think he might be going down. The Witchblade is working, and the Chronosphere comes out, and his Chronosphere on Morphling as well. Percentage damage, but uh, he managed to get his uh, strengths morph out. Yep, the Chrono in the end will just kill the. Uh... Uh, the, the Marcy, but they go for the Morphling. He doesn't have the Lincoln Sphere, that does connect, but he did get the Morph off, so it's not gonna matter. Krish, though, has been slowed down. He's trying to get himself away, will be successful at doing so, and Krish will survive. With the Marcy playing alone in the previous game, it seems like that she likes to be solo. Before she met, uh, she met the Marana, she wasn't that uh, big on playing uh, in a team. Bok has been stunned. Now, let's see if they have enough damage. He uses the Pit of Malice, has the Fiend's Gate. If he wants to live, he has been stunned. Bok, though, will get the extra movement speed there from the rebound, but this is gonna be enough to live. They moved away the Dawnbreaker, and now, do, 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 from Mavis. It's not gonna be enough in the attacks with the Slower Guardian. They're trying to save the Dazzle, will be successful doing so, and the Shadow Shaman will fall. Shadow Shaman against the Shadow Priest. The Shadow Shaman wins, and the Shadow Priest, though, will die as well. Everything shadowy will die because there's so much light here. They illuminate the Solar Guardian, everything, and now Fonte comes over. There is a, a spirit vessel on him. Fonte needs to be a little bit careful how he approaches the fight. No, you should be careful, Connell. I'll take you down from the camel, and that's a very big animal, so it's gonna be a very hard fall. Now Asta turns into a Winter Vyvern. He's gonna attack from afar. White Chen does have the cold embrace. Is it gonna be enough to survive? Probably not. With the demon coming from the gate, he will come out and they will finish him off. Kinda reminds you of Oblivion. Bok tries to get himself out. Not gonna be happening. Asta without the mana does have the Lincoln Sphere. Then morphing into strength. He can stand his ground and fight, but if the question is for how long. Gonna have the mana for the waveform. Gets to the high ground, but the Celestial Hammer will follow him. The slows are there. He needs help. There's the rebound. Is it gonna be enough? He gets the, uh, the sidekick, but he cannot attack. Turns around with the adaptive strike. Get away from me. He gets himself away. The poison touch is still slowing him, but not any longer. The Celestial Hammer not gonna be connecting. He's morphing, and now here comes the shackles of the Dawnbreaker. Krish is back to the world of the living. Carlo get healed. No, it's not gonna be there in time. And the Dawnbreaker finally dies. Asta will get his revenge. You don't need to use the Shallow Grave. I have one waiting for you, but it's very, very, very deep. He's thinking about maybe going for Chrono Sphere, but Carlo is in a really great place. Uh, is he going to follow up? He's thinking about it, actually. White Chen coming from the side. He's gonna use the Winter's Curse. Going for the Marcy. Mavis will die, even though there was no one else to get caught inside of it. And the Solar Guardian, Carlo, is using those shackles, but he's gonna be the one getting caught. Bok in some trouble as well. They don't have the Witchblade just yet. Finally, he can get one hit off White Chen if he can. But look at Dockers. He is chasing. He's gonna wait inside of the Illuminate. Stunning Krish. They need help. He needs help. But look at that movement speed. Just goes to the side, even though he's a little piggy. He's a fast piggy at that. Marcy buyback wants to fight, but Krish will die to all of the overtime damage. Maybe it's around the fight, but there's gotta be a spike here. Face again, Asta comes over. I need to, to save my team. And he'll not be doing anything like that because his team is dying. Bok now is being surrounded as well. He's gonna be going for the Faces Void. Does he have the Road of Atos? Not just yet. And the Faces Void, time walks away. He's gonna turn back time and go to a place that he wants to visit. And he sees them. He knows they're coming. He's gonna... 
get the info to his Winter Wyvern, run my core, run, and he turns around on Fog, gets the stun, actually not that great of an info because Wychan gets caught, but here comes Fonty with the Chrono Morphling, they didn't get the morph off, he's just gonna die, and Marcy jumps into the Chrono, says kill me as well, I don't deserve to live without my core box, though he's still alive, and the grave onto the Dawnbreaker, she will not die either, everyone Gorilla is alive, they're batting their chest, he's already pretty fast, they found a Dazzle, no force step on him, no A on this just yet, he's very close to buying the whole thing, and he gets the grave off, it's gonna be very hard to finish him off, trying to heal himself up, but the Spirit Vessel will be there, not allowing him to get it back up to full. But that was the problem with the draft I highlighted previously, right? They can take fights, but how do they take objectives after the doctors jumping in? He jumped in, and the Solar Guardian will be there with a beautiful Starbreaker. Asta turns into Winter Wyvern yet again, and he is up there. He is between the Roche, on top of his cave. He's trying to do the damage, but he will be coming down below very soon. Gets her into Piggy. A few bashes could take his luck. He's trying to waveform away. Should be successful. The BKB from the boy. The bashes! The bashes again and again and again. A normal person wouldn't even try to hit the water, but the faceless void, he knows what's up. They found the Keeper Light as well. He's being slowed down. He does have a BKB, is it gonna be enough to survive? He uses it, uses the Solar Bind onto Winter Wyvern and he still goes down. So Asta, he, he has three kind of major items and none of them are aggressive or damage dealing except for maybe Manta style. And even that is questionable in the mid play. In the meantime, they go in for Carlo and Carlo, he's pretty much getting solo killed by Dawnbreaker or not, not he will be able to disengage. The Nyx is dead though, that is a big part of the fight, they caught the Dawnbreaker as well, does have the Starbreaker, there's the Chrono, gonna be on two, these supports are looking very much dead, but they can they do anything more, Morph turns into the, uh, into the void, and just jumps in, this is exactly where we wanted you, he goes to the side, and he'll be able to get himself out, very very quickly, TNC has to run away, they have the time dilation on them, and Krish inside of the Winter's Curse, what is happening, my creeps are attacking me, why are they attacking me, they should be on my side, but they are not, the Winter Wyvern, just uh, shows its beauty and shows these creeps on which side they should be fighting the winning side that's that's a lot that's something that changes the game right uh instead with uh, with this uh bling dagger oh maybe they get a kill on dawnbreaker that would be a nice kill uh, it's gonna be a kill for sure they finish her off but uh in response they're gonna be losing a tier two finally they use a glyph are there any tps coming through dockers he has uh he used the spike airpace do they see him where the dust there they are dockers is dead he gets pulled back without the spike airpace he's just dead in a second those are two heroes gone Why chen if he uh gets caught as well this could be the beginning of the comeback of TNC, the one that they were looking for for the entirety of this game. Actually, they see, they see him, they see Y Chan. Hello, Y Chan, and goodbye. No buyback from the uh, from the Dawnbreaker, which means that there is no Solar Guardian to save him. And one by one, Gorilla are coming over. They think they're strong, but Ape strong together, not alone. I'm slightly interested in this uh, Saint Yasha. Uh, this is just a really old school item, and I don't feel like he needs it. But in the in the middle lane, Dockers once again setting up for this crash kill, and they will also get Marcy on top of it as well as Carlo. Three supports, well, two supports in the mid. Dead. That's the top. And that's the top. Here's the Chrono, here's the Solar Guardian. Uh, this uh, river, this wave, it's gonna be very dry very soon. He actually uses the BKB, goes with the waveform, and blink out, TP out. Is he really out of this one? The bash, he doesn't even get the hit out. That's what the blink dagger is for. It's for outplaying. Let's see now, the smoke from Gorilla as well. Bok is gonna be the first one that is found. He's the best possible hero. Doctors goes into the back lines, finds the Marcy. That is not a great jump. This fight is all around the place, but they found the Winter Wyvern. Carlo is gonna get the shackles on him. Is there any follow up there though? They get the dispose as well, but the Solar Guardian will keep White and alive. They've already lost their supposed Chris trying to get himself away. He's very fast. Run like the wind. Use your camel. But this is not a desert, my friend. This is very nice green place with a lot of water. So your camel is just no good steed here. Gorilla. They go to the high ground, they don't want to risk it, but Asta does, he knows there's nothing left to lose in this game, the Dawnbreaker comes forward, does have the BKB, so that bit of malice shouldn't be able to kill him, still Asta going forward, strong onto the Roche, and here comes Chen. he's flying, that is a very huge wingspan, Dockers now sees that Roche is half HP, even lower than that, they're gonna know that something is up. 
Crows dropping low, dropping low, dropping lower. Chrono up in 20 seconds. Gorilla, they want to delay this, but they don't have to. Dockers comes over. Asta jumps into the fray of them all. And Fonte goes in and snatches the Roche. That is just what has happened. Now they get the ulti onto the Marcy, but she's not really going to be taking that much damage. Morphling has been silenced. Bash him, bash him until death. Asta goes to the high ground there, trying to do something, but he will not move an inch. He turns into the face of Void, uses the time dilation, the stuns. Everything is being used by Asta just to survive and nothing to deal the damage. TNC just have nothing left in the tank. Oh yeah, and uh, how do you hold right now? You have this faceless void who can jump in, initiate onto anybody, and he doesn't care about anything. Oh, initiation onto Bok, he's been saved, and Dawnbreaker goes in. Yep, but they are gonna go with the Winter's Curse. They catch the Keeper of Light as well. He has a BKB, but there's gonna be a Chrono. They have one more. Don't think I have stopped time only once. I control the time itself. If I did it once, I can do it again. But he's not even using the Refresher. Now Fonte uses the Refresher. There it is, a three-man Chrono. The Dawnbreaker lifted up her hammer, and he says, don't, don't kill them like that. We know how hard you can swing that thing. Now Asta in some trouble. He's gonna have to wait from getting himself out. That's a triple kill for white Chan, get out of your base if you dare the uh you know jackie chan actually uh bruce lee says be like water well uh, asta he is literally water and it's not working out he's still being destroyed so this game it is gonna be hard to do anything in it i see a hex on the next but no follow-up white chan going forward and getting a kill on chris trying to get a kill on chris asta finally turning into this survivor he wanted to turn into for the whole game but it's not working out for him He's trying to play around his throne, trying to survive by staying outside of range of um, Faceless Void. And he does survive, and he can run, but buildings, buildings do not run. They could uh, get up and go away, but these ones, they don't have that option. They're just staying there and taking it, taking it like man. A beautiful stun from the Nyx Assassin as well. This Morphling, he's morphing into agility. He just wants to die faster. He doesn't want this agony to continue. He has lost his support, but they're not calling GG. We will fight. We will fight until the end. No problem. We will bring the end right now. You want to, us to kill you or your throne? We can do either. And finally, TNC will raise the white flag. They will will GG out and say this game is yours with a 50k gold lead. Fourth game of the best of five grand finals. And on the Night Stalker, they do a ton of damage. Oh, they are going for a kill on Night Stalker here in top lane. Yep, nothing he can do to stop it there. The Void just doesn't mini stun in the uh, in daytime and they'll get the kill. And, uh, you know, they went on the offensive, but uh, their attempts didn't look uh, convincing at all, if I'm being honest. Would like to get the first power rune and look at that. He's going towards the DD, but the trap is set there. There's gonna be one more trap. Why Chan he uses the Reaper side? You're not gonna be getting the kill. He needs to get the kill to heal up, but it's actually gonna be Y Chan going down. Nations are coming towards the top. Krish might be targeted. They have the silences, but if he uses the boat right now, he's gonna be taking so much less damage. The silence one is there. Dinks well will connect. They have the avalanche as well. He's looking very much dead. The TP from Bok isn't gonna be there in time. Krish is still alive, but not for long. The void will eat him and now Va Mavis you're gonna be next they see him perfectly trying to run away not gonna be going anywhere the nice talker will start putting his claws into the dawnbreaker the dawnbreaker turns around throws out the hammer they're not afraid of uh, of the enemy team in the very late stages of the game i don't feel like ta is outclassed by anybody but ta might be going down herself though yeah, just so many heroes around her. Oh, Fonte, he was dangerously close to already killing Kanka, uh, getting him to low HP, and uh, if he just presses R, I think he kills him. But it, it's it's a bit of a what if uh, kind of scenario. In the mid lane, oh nice attempt to get a kill, but Asta, he's not getting out of here. Yeah, for sure not. Good job, just kidding. Of course, that is uh, already commendable. But Asta is going to farm the Ancient. So you mentioned this hero, it cannot be shut down. But the Night Stalker most definitely can. If he's dying over and over again. But he gets himself out. He has been drunk up by Cinderbrew. And now they're coming for him. But he's healed up, healed up. And he will be fine. Bok has lost two of his pandas. And he might lose the third one to the tower damage. That Glyph kills his full ulti. Tiny doesn't have the blink. But he has the will to fight. They're going to be going up. Carlo, can he get his ulti off no but the ta needs to tp out now tp out now asta is out and carlo is gonna be more than happy to give his life away meanwhile in the mid lane in the river they're trying to 
to uh, drown the Necro. They have the Solar Guardian, but the Yule Scepter will keep him safe. He still has the Ghost Shroud. They have the Trap, but help is coming. They're coming over, and TNC, they have to bail. Axon to the Necrophos. Stay there, please. We don't want to fight you. We actually don't want to fight your Night Stalker, but this guy is going forward. Bog jumps in with the Blink Dagger, slows everyone, everybody down. The Avalanche is keeping Mavis away, and now Ufos is there, and it's gonna be a Reaper Sight. It's gonna be not gonna be a double one, but in the end, he still loses his life. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. The Blink out from the TA. That Blink definitely already coming into play, and the Night Stalker is gonna be next. They slow him down, they X him up, and they kill him. That's where they're gonna be finding their treasure, and the tiny and Zero Armor hero against the TA will die in a second. That the triple kill for Asta Fonti running away. His life will be spared. You usually see Necrophos and you think, oh, this hero is really tanky, but he doesn't have a lot of armor. And that means uh, he doesn't get to play this game as, as well as he wants to. And they also get a stun of Chen once again. Immediately purged. He has been immediately purged. And he is dead. No, actually, the Winter Curse is there. The boat will come over. They get the kill, but they'll lose the Kunkka in the process. Beautiful Starbreaker. Gonna stun on two. They get the Juggernaut up into the air. And he wants to get down. He will. He will do it soon. He's not dealing with pandas anymore. Asta onto the high ground. Even with the Aegis, he doesn't want to fight. Carlo in some trouble. He had it purchased, but didn't have the time to get it delivered. And that means next fight is gonna be even easier. Now in the middle lane, they are gonna go for this ball kill. Safe is coming out, and Asta is joining needs a fight. Are they going to save this Brewmaster? No, not even close. Go, go, gets the kill there with the Phantom's Embrace. And now Asta is the one in trouble. The silence will be removed. So the Phantom's Embrace is dead. Toss back onto Go, go. Not going to be happening. Nice salty there off from Fonti. But a save will be coming out from Carlo. Fonti does get one kill onto Mavis. Asta still wants to fight. Actually says, no, I don't want to fight any longer. If we could stop right now, it would be great. But they get the next onto the Fonti Juggernaut. And he will not run away. Now looking for more. The buyback comes out from Mavis. They want to chase for more. X marks the spot. Will be there in a second. And this tiny is not getting out alive. He'll get the Avatar's combo. Y-Chan uses the ulti. Goodbye, Carlo, but Dockers will fall either way. They're looking for Y-Chan. They have the slow from the traps. They have the X mark the spot. The Yules is there on the Necro. Might be enough to save him, but probably not. And Mavis comes in. There's the stun with the Ghost Shroud. Can Y-Chan escape? It seems like they will allow it with the pick pole. He'll be more than fast enough to get into a safe position. So they are gonna go for smoke. I like this play. I, I really think they should be going for this play. Dark Ascension is ready. They can go up. The scan was used. Nice talker. He pops the smoke. He's gonna pop his ulti. Going for the Brewmaster. Can the Brewmaster get his ulti off? Definitely can. There's the split. And Asta jumps over. He gets one kill. White Chen, you think you can leave, but you'll get dispelled immediately. You will leave, but in a way that we want you to leave. And now the Nice Talker will be next. He has a Blink Dagger and six. The Torrent will not connect. They need the X, but hiding in the trees. Carlo comes over and says, Kill me, please, Night Talker, so that I can give you vision of you to my team and you will die as well. The skies will be clear because both of the heroes that fly will be taken down. Now, looking for Y-Chan, he gets caught by the torrent, where's the help? Without the Dark Ascension, I'm not sure you wanna fight, they get him drunk as well. Necro is like going around, doesn't know what to do, but this tiny, he does, and with the Reaper side, he was just fooling around. Go, go, though, it's gonna be the follow-up kill, it's gonna be one for one, now looking for Fonti, and there's the split, that's one without the Axe, looking towards Dockers, the buyback from Go, go, he wants to come back into this fight. TA doesn't have the BKB, gets tossed away, and the Dark Ascension is here, the Vampire is coming, he's coming to cut you down, to bite your necks, to eat you up. There he is, but where's the damage? Where's the Inkswell? Where's the stuns? Asta just hides himself in the shadows. He'll be fine, but the Inkswell connects with the damage. He'll be enough, and Asta is dying. He's dying. He is dead. A double kill for the Night Stalker, and now look at Bok. He has been left alone. There were three of him, but he needs some friends. The Void will keep him in place. They have the Yules, too. They're gonna overlap everything just to make sure that Bok is the final hero to fall trying to figure out where to go. They're going into the enemy triangle. Dark Ascension is available. Something is gonna happen soon. Yeah, it is. There's the Dark Ascension. He flies up. The Inkswell was used. And now the Solar Guardian here trying to go for the Tiny Night Salty coming out from the Winter Wyvern. But the Winter Wyvern is dying. The Night Stalker is doing way too much damage with the BKB. But the Juggernaut might die. They connect on the boat. He's dead. Your carry is gone. Now it's time for a cleanup. The buyback. This time around, it's gonna be the support of TNC that buys back into the fight. And Mavis wants to change. Go, go. He uses the Inkswell. He uses the Ghost Scepter. Go, go. He's looking like he will survive. You go to the base, you get some hope, but you come back to us because this is where you belong. I have to do a split attack on both Carlo and Kanka and uh, 
Uh, that can be done with a soul bind, but no, instead the necro is getting get caught. They found him. They have the nullifier. They're trying to kill him. The toss away, but the X is gonna be there, so they're still gonna take him away. And with the boat, they'll be able to finish him off. You already use the winter skirts. The ghost after the winter wyvern keep him alive, and he does have the cold embrace. On the other part of the fight, they've already taken down the grimstroke as well. Without him, it's gonna be almost impossible to fight. Finally, the night soaker goes for the BKB. They have no bashes. They don't have enough damage, and he'll be surviving. But that's another dark ascension that gives you nothing. You can't toss Asta into the tier four. Without the T4s, can you do something? And now we see three panda bears as well. We know that there is a trouble in the population of pandas in the world, but uh, here the brewmaster makes sure that that is not the case. He's gonna be sending the earth panda though forward, and the uh, Chinese team, of course, they don't have the guts to kill it. Okay, scratch that. They're gonna be killing the wind panda, but again, the brewmaster goes back to himself. Do the same in the second lane. Uh, guarantees themselves mega creeps. I don't know what the play is for gorilla. They're waiting for the mid lane, maybe the toss back there into the tier 4s. They found Bok, no, he does manage to blink out. Here comes Asta with the Hex, the Inkswell there, and the Blastrick is gonna keep the Tiny alive. But the boat is coming, it's not gonna be doing anything. The Kunkka just sailing, he's like, no, 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 I didn't mean to catch anyone. The, the TA loses the DD, the Yule Scepter was used there, toss back, it's gonna be used quite nicely. Fonte though goes for a spin, but Asta has used the BKB. Still has the Aegis, not the easiest to target there, looking towards the Tiny, trying to run away from now, he'll be okay. The ulti onto the Necro, there's gonna be multiple heroes connecting on it, but Fonti is still doing the damage. They're trying to kill Bok. Not gonna be successful. White Chan's still alive, and with the Yules, he'll be fine. They do take him down. And what is this Reaper side? Onto the bear! Onto the panda! Come on! Bok is just gonna use his ulti again. There it is. He's gonna be splitting once more. You haven't killed a single hero. And they still have the Aegis. They still have the cheese. And they still have one more split after this one is down. Maybe the mana will be the problem. Gorilla, they do buy back. They get the hex onto the Juggernaut. Trying to kill Fonti. He has enough armor and HP to survive, especially beneath the tier 4s. But look at this. The yeah, Raxes have fallen, those are mega creeps. TNC, they might not even need to give you a fight, but they're gonna do it because they're a good sport. They know that they have won it, they know that they're the champions. Fonty goes for the Omni stand, but they call GG, it's gonna be chopping. He is very sad that the game is over, but he will accept defeat like a true samurai, perform a Harikiri, die, and with that, TNC Predator will get the victory. They are the Moon Studio Asian Tigers 3 champions.